Salam. Welcome back to Vox Terra. Today I want to share with you a, an article from the magazine or the news publication Common Dreams titled Ilhan Omar warns progressives will revolt if Dems poison the relief bill by curbing eligibility for the $1,400 checks. And first, I'm going to share with you my top reason why this article I believe is relevant to the long-term survival of our species, which is my main purpose. Second, I'm going to share with you three reasons why this Ms. Omar's stance is interestingly, amazingly, both a democratic socialist stance and, in a sense, closer to the libertarian stance. From that Common Dreams article, Ilhan Omar warned that conservative Democrats, now notice Common Dreams is calling them conservative, some of the left might say corporate Democrats, and again, remember, goes without saying corporate Republicans. And since I'm actually arguing her stance is more libertarian, I think it really calls into question some of these whole conservative liberal divides. Ilhan Omar warned that conservative Democrats, what they're calling conservative Democrats, effort to restrict eligibility for the new round of $1,400 direct payments, risk shedding the progressive support for a final coronavirus relief package. Representative Ilhan Omar was referring to talks among Senate Democrats over lowering the annual income cutoff for the new round of relief checks with the stated goal, the stated goal, mind you, of the payments being more targeted to those in need. Now, doesn't that sound good on paper? But I'll get to you why that's actually not. And when I was younger, I would have thought targeted was better also. Now I don't. Senator Bernie Sanders said, and I'm not going to try to do his voice, but I'm just going to do a voice. There are some Dems who want to lower the income eligibility for direct payments from 75 k to 50k, that's 50,000, for individuals, and 150,000 to 100,000 for couples. In other words, working class people who get checks, who got checks from Trump, would not get them from Biden. In Senator Sanders' words, brilliant, brilliant. Representative Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. It would be outrageous if we ran on giving more relief and ended up doing the opposite. Maybe sound a little more like Cory Booker. So my thesis was my point one, why this is even relevant to the long-term survival of the species. Here's why. I believe our population, America's, the world's for that matter, is trapped in what we used to call the rat race. The rat race is basically this chasing after needless wasteful consumption, trying to buy and sell stuff just to get by, even if that stuff is not necessary, even if that stuff is just poisoning our planet, pumping it full of carcinogens and greenhouse gases. Yet we are trapped, having to sell things people may not really need. Why, we couldn't even shut the economy down to take a pause so a disease wouldn't spread around. But this rat race isn't just propped up by the very wealthy, the main beneficiaries of the rat race, as, as Bernie Sanders likes to point out, that they are the main beneficiaries of it, but it's not just propped up by them. Everyone, to some degree or another, is married, tied up with their employer, and most people want to believe in what they're doing, even if what they're doing should be replaced. They want to believe in it. They want to defend it. The politicians fall in line, the media falls in line, and the system perpetuates. So, how do you get people to step back, smell the roses, and take a look at what they're doing with their lives? Question the system. How? I believe we got to take some of the pressure off of the people. I believe we need an economic floor. A floor that people can then build from, but they need a floor. They need to know at some level everything's going to be okay regardless. Now, points two and three, more related to the strategy of this and the libertarian socialist aspect of it, is that I believe that the best way to have a floor is universal rather than needs-based. Needs-based is you got to go down there to social services and prove 
you don't have it, it's humiliating to the people doing it, and this is in general now, I'm not talking about these stimulus checks in particular right now, but in general, you got to go down there and prove you're needy, it's humiliating, and what happens is the person who gets it has something, and the person who maybe made a little too much money, not a lot, but maybe just a little too much, isn't going to get anything, right? And we see that with student aid. We're seeing that people are trying to do that with these stimulus checks. So that's why Social Security and Medicare are there. They provide the stability for at least when you get old in America. You got a little something. And they're defended even by people who are, you know, think they're anti-government because we all pay in, we all get out. There, there's no pitting the have a littles against the have nothings. And, and now from the, really the libertarian standpoint here, you want to, you know, I, I'm not a, I support public sector solutions, okay? But I also support private sector solutions to our problems. And what I don't like is, is micromanaging. So the more you start to target everything, the more you give something to somebody and not somebody else, the more you start creating unintended consequences. So I like to see those thought through. So therefore, I like this just baseline of everybody getting something and then they can choose their own path forward. For a similar reason, even though you could argue it's interfering, I like a Green New Deal because you're trying now to simply have the government set some standards for how we're going to get away from this system of pumping our earth full of pollution. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you found my arguments compelling that universal in general is better for society than needs-based. That having an economic floor is fundamental to having a greener, less toxic, less polluting economy. And if you did, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and you click that notification bell. Like, comment, and consider supporting a PayPal Patreon. And until next time, peace be with you.